Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall again. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add your parallel to firewall into any emulated virtual environment. So without wasting time, let's begin. As you can see on my screen, I am at the site called www.eve-ng.net. So first you need to go to this site and once you here go to the documentation and from the documentation you have to reach to Palo Alto right and here you will see the steps the instructions the method to deploy or what are the steps we need to take to have Palo Alto OS into EVE? So steps are very simple. They are saying make some directory which names that like uh, Palo Alto and then a dash and whatever the version you are in. Then go to this particular directory hoping your file is already there and then you know, convert that file into this format and at the last do the permission fix permission kind of thing so let's begin this is uh, my EV setup and if I go to the GUI you will see this thing. Uh, it's very simple very basic once you do the installation then you can you know log in to this URL. Uh, it's just a setup. Okay. It's just a setup and here you are seeing uh, let me just I just want to show you this thing first uh, here you will see your particular IP address how you can log into this uh, let me just exit from this uh, once you have this EV setup, you will see how to log into the GUI. Like this is the HTTP and the IP address. So I just did that and I reach here. Okay. Now, as per the Palo Alto things, they are saying all these steps. So for that, I need to have the OS in place uh, uh, on that particular directory. So basically, you just have to take a WinSCP to your EV environment. For example, give it an IP address, username, password, like uh, root and EV, and come to this location. So how you can come to this location? Basically, once you log in, you will be in a root directory. Then you need to go to the OPT uh, from the OPT. You need to go to the unit lab. From the unit lab, you go have to go to the add-ons and from here QMO. And as they mentioned for the document, they need some directory on this location. So basically, let's do that. Let me have a directory like uh, Palo Alto. That is what the name they suggested, as you can see here. Okay. And dash, and then after that, you can give your version number or whatever. That is not mandatory thing. Till this point is important. Let me give it like 10.0 kind of thing. I'm just saying, okay. Uh, if I go to my EV image, I have these images already in place. 
So I have to just copy paste this image over here. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes. So meanwhile, what we will do, we'll go to this location from VM itself. So let me just uh, do the party session so that the things will be more clear. Okay, that is fine. Let's go from here. Uh, root EVE. I hope the screen is visible. Okay. Now they're saying go to this particular location. Okay. So what we will do, let me just copy this thing so straightforward guys and from here I just have to say change and I have to just paste details okay so right now I'm at that location ls that uh, color.10.o and let me see the status it's still copy so basically the steps are pretty simple and straightforward uh, they're saying make directory you can do it from the cli itself using this command or the another simple way take a win scp go there and create the directory uh this is fine then next thing is that they say Go to that particular directory and rename original file to this file. That is what the steps they have given. So give it a minute. Once this get copied, we'll deliver the next steps. Uh, I just want to tell you the other things also. Meanwhile. So if you are also trying to do the setup for routers, switches, steps is similar, but only the location you have to change. Uh, I'll make another video for those details. Let this thing get copied. Uh, and once this got copied i'll see you guys again so look like the file is got copied now we need to go ahead and uh, go to this uh, directory and from there uh, i mean the directory what we have specified palo alto 10.0 and then use mv command to move the uh, os to this file details let's uh, do that so right now if i i go to here if i see i do the ls i have this file let's move to this uh, i mean i have this directory let's move to this directory ls so file is copied just use mv command here so let me give let me just see so let's do this mv then the file name is this and i just want to copy paste the name here okay the command is simple as you can see mv the qcow2 file and this one let's go ahead and just enter here and i believe it's got mode let's go ahead here and let's refresh 
hoping refresh okay you can see this file now here uh, I think that's it uh, that's what they have mentioned okay the last thing is that fix permission so copy this command and come to VM and just I want to paste it so let's paste that command hopefully yeah enter and I, I think it's got done next thing is you have to come here right click go to the node and if i type here parallel also you will see okay and here you can see your os details uh, let's have rest of the thing as it is for now let me save it next thing guys it is important if you are doing the community version of ev uh, you have to plug every devices before turning them turning them on once you make it make them on you won't be able to add those devices i mean the rest of the devices because you are using the free version if you are you know having the you know, paid version you can add two devices while this Palo Alto is in down state or sorry, in up state or whatever the device is in up state. So for now, for the demonstration, let me say start. Hopefully, uh, I will see some start message over here. Okay, right now it's giving me some thing. Okay, as you can see here, the Palo Alto started, and if you just double click to this. okay let me restart again now it looks green so if you see the color got changed let me double click to it and you will see this side trying to open this ultra vnc wrapper let me just open and you can see the os booting is started so of course it will take a couple of minutes maybe more than 10 minutes to get this OS started so let me wait for them and I'll I'll see you back once this get started so now once system got initialized it asks you for the old password you have to give the old password and then it asks you for the new password so you have to set some complex password here so okay password do not match let me re type it number of failed attempts in class successful so i think the password got changed and uh, we are successfully uh, logged into successfully logged into the Palo Alto firewall 